you know, several scriptures could be read here. Let me just read just one. Proverbs 29, the rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. So that would seem to endorse the use of corporal punishment. So how would you reconcile this bill with, with Scripture's counsel on this matter? Um, I would say that this is limited to special needs children. Republicans want to spank your kids, especially kids with special needs. It turns them on. It's obvious at this point. The so-called party of protecting the children is wasting the American taxpayers' money and time discussing to what extent they can use a wooden paddle or their hand to spank your child on the behind. And yet, supposedly, it's the Democrats that are pedophiles abusing children, using their dangerous woke ideologies of telling children they can be whatever they want to be and informing children about equality in schools. In any other country, this would be satire, but in the United States, it's anything but. Imagine using the Bible to justify spanking children. Imagine the time that it would have taken to research Bible verses that you can use and twist one and pluck it out to fit your creepy, perverted fantasy of brutalizing children. How did other lawmakers react? Well, let's see. On what basis would we automatically assume? Now, I'm sure there are some cases where capacity is so limited they may not understand the rules and expectations. But on what basis would we automatically conclude that a special needs child uh, would should not get corporal punishment because in this bill it says that these are students that are classified as IDEA special needs students. If you didn't catch it, and I certainly didn't the first time, these Republicans both agree that all children, even special needs children, all children should be spanked. I cannot believe that we're having this discussion yet again in 2023. But here's the secret. Most Republicans hate your children. Don't believe me? Take a look. You know, in the case where child abuse is fatal, it, obviously it's not good for the child, but it's actually a benefit to society because there aren't needed for government services and whatnot over the whole course of that child's life. That dirtbag is an Alaska state representative, a Republican that just admitted that there's a silver lining to child fatalities from abuse that at least the government gets to save money. What more evidence do y'all need that Republicans do not like your children? They defund our public schools. They do nothing to mitigate and stop school shootings. And instead, they spend their time in session on the taxpayers' time and dollar to discuss how much they want to spank your children. I'll say it again. Most Republicans hate your children. Most. I don't generalize. And they will use any example to deny that reality. I had a constituent that called me about this very issue, and he was very upset. He was upset because he had a special needs child, and what he told me was that this child did not respond to positive motivation, but that she responded very well to corporal punishment. He's lying. Nobody called him. Or if this constituent did call him, it does not take away from the endless number of studies that show that corporal punishment has been linked to the development of many behavioral problems like anxiety, depression, substance abuse, and spanking has also been found to be super ineffective because it does nothing to motivate the child to do good actions. Instead, it only incentivizes the child to not do bad actions around the parent or the authority figure. But why would this Republican listen to science? All he wants to do is fulfill his sexual fantasy and just spank children. It's gross. This behavior should outrage all of us. This is just the latest ploy in the Republican framework to take us back to the 1950s as fast as possible. To anyone who is foolish enough to think that the Republican party is all about protecting the children, this is your wake up call. I encourage all of you watching to share this video with a friend or even that Republican that you know, because we must stop 
these lawmakers that want to spank our children. My name is Scott Johnson. You can find more of me on my YouTube, which is in the description below, The Gaze. I just posted a new video, so you should totally go and check it out. You can also find me on TikTok, which is also in the description below. And most importantly, do not forget to smash that subscribe button to the breakdown. You know you want to.